Welcome back, Scent Squad. Emerald C here with Tom Ford Vanilla Sex fragrance reviews for you. So this fragrance dropped December of 2023 and it had all of the fragrance fanatics in an uproar. Everyone was trying to get their hands on this specific fragrance. Now this exclusive Vanilla Sex Tom Ford fragrance, it had key notes that everyone was talking about. Vanilla Tincture India. Now this fragrance was exclusively made for Tom Ford. Sexy, soft, and sensual followed by Vanilla Absolute. Now this is more of a profound vanilla note that was sultry, it was shadowy. It kinda added depth to the actual aroma. Rounding off with warm, captivating sandalwood. So these were the key notes of this fragrance. Now, you know if you went online, especially late December, it was very hard to find. There were select people specifically influencers who were able to get their hands on it first and they left lots of reviews. Now, there were some who were not influencers and they paid the full retail price. Keep in mind, depending on your size that you purchase for the fragrance, it ranges from $250 all the way up to $1,350. That's $1,350, depending on the size that you select for this fragrance. So this was not a very inexpensive buy. So of course, everyone, especially Tom Ford fans, were really looking forward to this fragrance. This highly anticipated unisex fragrance had reviews completely split. You had some people who loved the fragrance while others did not like it a little bit. We're gonna jump in to see what people thought. First one up, Vanilla Amaretto Ice Cream with Plastic Doll Heads. <gasps> Pretty, but nowhere near worth the price for a FB. It's giving scented candle. So I smelled this the other day. I was expecting the smell to be something similar to Vanilla Supreme by Zara, or maybe even something like Vanilla by Kayali. Maybe something more classy like Gentle Fluidity Gold by MFK. The smell wasn't bad, but I somehow got the smell of milk bottles. <coughs> you know the gummy type of lolly by Allen. Some reason, that's all I could smell. Like I said, not bad, it smells okay, but I'm not sure if I wanna spend all of my savings to smell like milk bottles and lollies, but to each their own. Just got out of a long hot shower. You put on a white robe and slippers. Walk over to your marble vanity where your favorite vanilla almond body cream sits. Unscrew the lid and apply the rich cream all over your body. This is exactly what this smells like, a very rich, luxurious almondy vanilla body cream. It starts off more almondy, and once it is dried down, you're left with a beautiful vanilla for hours and hours. Really beautiful lasting power, and it would really pair well with any vanilla body product. But the big question is, is it worth the price? I'd say no. There are many other incredible vanilla perfumes with wonderful lasting power. This is not groundbreaking, but it's nice. Nice bottle, nice branding, pretty nice scent, but nowhere near life changing. I feel like I'm being pranked in a bad April Fool joke. I finally got my nose on vanilla sex. It's true that you shouldn't try this on paper. If you must try it, it has to be on skin. There's nothing like sex at all. If it had to be compared to any type of sex, it would be This is an embarrassment to the brand. I wouldn't buy this if it was on clearance for 99% off. I do understand why some people say it smells like urine. I can remotely get newborn baby urine. This reminds me of contaminated water, but the toxicity level is low enough that it is undetectable to the average nose. This is like toilet water in a clean bowl. Lactonic, blah. Whoever approved this should be put on indefinite leave of absence. It lasts an hour. It's a skin scent. Whatever team of people that approve this should be placed on indefinite leave. This needs to be discontinued ASAP. I'm so happy that I hated this scent because given the beautiful bottle, I would have bought it even if I only liked it a little bit. It smells to me of almond smeared armpits. 
Thank you. Next. Armpits. Unsmeared armpits. I really like the opening. It's nutty and rich, but it quickly turns into a can of bounce that ass. We gon' get it, we gon' get it. We gon Yuck. I'm still struggling to smell vanilla in this perfume. Oh my God. I know she didn't say bounce that ass. I was so excited to smell this, but it's disgusting. It smells like I got to the zoo and sprayed vanilla body spray all over me. <laughs> vanilla with a barnyard background. My brother said it smells like vanilla over body odor. Smells like a piss soaked urinal cake in a Burger King bathroom. <laughs> while someone is in the stall next to you, hits a birthday cake flavored vape. Absolutely vile. This review was specifically from Sephora. We rotated between Fragrantica and Sephora reviews. So for the Sephora reviews, there were a lot of like five star reviews and they were all from influencers who received the fragrance as a freebie. So it'll say that on the bottom of the review so you'll know which ones are like authentic. I mean, not saying that they're not authentic, but you know, if you're getting paid for a review or you are getting a free thing, you're probably more likely to say something more positive so that they can continue to work with you. So just throwing out that disclaimer before we jump into this review. So this is a one star review. It says, do not trust those freebie reviews. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to try this at the Sephora store. After seeing all the rave positive gifted for free reviews, I was so excited. I am never trusting those freebie reviews ever again. It did not smell good. It smells cheap and the longevity worse than lost cherry. Everyone is hating on this for one reason only. It's overpriced for an understated vanilla fragrance. If it's done one thing well, it's pulled off a vanilla that doesn't smell cheap or generic. However, if you're expecting a wow in your face vanilla, you'll be disappointed. Anyone claiming to smell diapers, urine, beeswax is just being silly. It's just a common run of the mill, nice vanilla. I can't speak to the performance or sillage. It seems to me that every time that TF releases new fume, there is a gang of bullies talking crap. Meanwhile, hiding behind questionable, poor taste wardrobes. Does everything TF put out need to be revolutionary in order to justify the price? No. Same way you all are paying thousands for poor quality Gucci Prada or Chanel bags when you can have a great coach bag for a fraction of the price. Art of perfumery is subjective because it is art. You may not like it, but it may blow someone else's mind. I tested it today. It is not revolutionary. It is not even great, but it does not smell like a bathroom or vanilla scented toilet paper how ridiculous it's a mild baking type vanilla pleasant it will not offend anyone around you but you won't smell like you bought a body spray in someone's cheap store either it is not projecting at all but great longevity it has been eight hours so far and i am getting cute little vanilla waves from my arm just stop being bitter already and move on with your life if you don't like it I think that was my favorite review from the collection. Last review probably resonated the most with me because it's very realistic. People create these very high expectations for something. This is how it should smell. This is what it says. And they'll envision something, but it's literally subjective art. So of course it's gonna smell different for everyone. I personally smelled it and I liked it. I do think it is a very nice, warm, lightly bakery-like aroma. It is very smooth and creamy. However, for the price point that it presents, it's not something I'd be interested in having in my collection to be such a minimalist fragrance. Now, again, you're not just paying for the quality notes and the ingredients in it, you're also paying for the name. Keep in mind, we're talking Tom Ford. Almost everything that Tom Ford lays his hand on is going to be priced 
on the higher pay scale. So we wanna kinda of keep that in mind when selecting this fragrance. If you like fragrance reviews, all the girly stuff, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have Tom Ford's Vanilla Sex, I need to hear what you think. I wanna hear how you feel about the fragrance. I want you to drop your I want you to drop your comments in the section below. I want to hear it. If you're thinking about getting the fragrance, what is the craziest combination that you've heard that makes you scared about getting the fragrance? All right, let's hear what you have to say. Until then, we will see you in the next video. Take care.